now that the whole Risa Tisa thing has like calmed down, I have a story of my own. And don't worry, this is not going to be 50 parts. It's probably not even going to be three. I'm going to try to be careful the way I word this because I know her friends watch my videos and report everything back to her. This is about my brother's ex-girlfriend from my side of the story. He's not ready to tell his side. That's completely understandable. But, y'all, when I say it impacted everybody in this household down to my baby sister, it was bad. I think this was enough to call it an abusive relationship. Even though it wasn't physically abusive, it was definitely mentally abusive. So back in April of last year, I made a video talking about, oh my gosh, I'm so excited because my brother finally has a girlfriend after all these years. Mind you, this was his first ever girlfriend, so this is probably the worst thing that could have ever happened to him. So I was making a video and she comes in like as I'm making the video and I was like, oh my gosh, hi, so nice to meet you, whatever. Nice, cool interaction. She seemed like genuinely nice. I was like, okay, she's kind of pretty. She's nice. Like, okay, I, I can see them working out. So fast forward, maybe a couple days later, she's like, hey, I really want to get to know you. So let's go get her nails done. I was like, okay, cool. All the way to get her nails done and all the way back, she was just talking about my brother and like the things that he was doing that she did not like. Mind you, they haven't been dating for like maybe more than two weeks. At first I was with her. I was like, oh my gosh, girl, you know how men are. Like, don't worry, I'll watch him for you. But then she started saying some like weird things. Like one of the things she said was like, oh, he looked at another girl when he I was like in the bathroom. I was like, okay, like this was when i started to pick up like this girl's a little bit weird and then she goes oh my gosh she's always talking to other girls that's so disrespectful and i'm looking at her like are you being like for real right now or so at this point i was feeling like oh my gosh i know my brother i know he is not that type of person he has never had a girlfriend no way he would mess it up within the first week so fast forward a couple weeks later me and my brother make a tiktok and he just is in it for maybe like two seconds the video is still up i'll like put it to this video i just made a little hair video went to sleep and i was woken up at 3 a.m my brother is coming in looking scared he's sweating i was like tindy what's going on he's like you have to delete the video right now like you, you can't you can't post that why'd you post me i was like dude you're literally always in my videos what was wrong with the video so he comes to me talking like oh my gosh she's saying that she's gonna hurt herself because people in the comments are calling me hot i'm like so at that point i was like okay obviously i don't want her to herself so i took down the i took i turned off the comments i was like i can't really take down the video because i had a sponsorship at that point i was not getting no sponsorships but i did not want to take down the video because it took me forever but then again i did not want it to hurt herself so i was like you know she's like okay i guess that's fine what do you mean i guess that's fine mind you she didn't have social media because one of her exes cheated on her through social media so she only had instagram so her friends were telling her these things like, this is why I said her friends watch my TikToks and report back to her. So, at that point, I did not like her. I did not like her whatsoever. I had a test the next morning. I couldn't even get to the test. Like, the next day, I messaged my parents. I was like, this girl is not good. I literally said that. So, I was like, hey, I'm trying to be supportive or whatever. So, I pretended to, like, be okay with her, right? She was in theater. She's a theater kid. So, she was like, hey, do you want to come sit through one of my auditions? I was like like you but sure I'll, I'll try to make it work for the sake of my brother the whole time she was talking about this one girl like she was literally obsessed with her she was calling her a c word the w word i was like whoa 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 wait a minute it's like oh my gosh she's so obsessed with me she's so racist i'm like this oh uh, okay um girl i don't like you even more now because what the frick? and then after she asked me if i wanted to go over her friend's house and i was like i don't really know your friends but like my mom was like just just go because you know i was like okay i'll go the whole time it was really weird i was the only black person there i felt like i was in an episode i was in the movie get out i was like y'all i gotta get out of here like fast forward to july she keeps trying to hang out with me and i keep making excuses i was like i got banned i got parades I, I can't i can't i can't so basically in july my cousin came out because i used to live in kansas they still live in kansas and we really don't get to see each other so like in july during the summer is when we like all get to hang out and stuff the whole first day my cousins are here like my brother is just on his phone he's not really paying attention i know he was looking forward to his cousins coming down because we had been planning it since the last summer so i was like hey if you don't tell her like hey i'm a little busy right now i can't really text you i want to spend time with my family i want to do it myself mind you she doesn't know all the things that my brother has been telling us about her like all the things that she says all the like rules and regulations he told us that he couldn't watch anime anymore because one of her exes cheated on her watching anime girl what is he talking about he took down all his posters everything my brother has literally played video games since he was three he cannot play video games anymore because her 
ex cheated on her online with on a, on a video game. Like, what? So my brother would come home and tell us all this stuff. And she would just think, like, we still think that she's this perfect little angel. So I was like, hey, if you don't tell her that you want to spend time with your family, I'm going to tell her and everything's about to get out. He was like, no, you can't. I'm going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. And then an hour goes by, still texting. I was like, okay. I mean business. So I was like, hey, I hope you understand this like more than reasonable request. It's not really a request, I'm telling you. I was like, my brother has been looking forward to his cousins coming down and I would appreciate it. Like, you just gave us some time together. And then she replies, oh, okay, I understand. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to do that. Minutes later, I look over my brother's shoulder and I see her saying, oh my gosh, your sister is so disrespectful. I don't like her anymore. You need to tell her off. I was like, oh, <laughs> you want to go there? So I messaged her again and I was like, hey, I'm seeing what you're telling my brother. And then I just spilled everything. I said, I know how you've been talking to him. I don't like it. I know what you've been saying about us. I don't like it. I said, I've been making excuses to hang out with you because I generally do not like you. And she would respond very respectfully and then go and text my brother that I was a B and I was disrespectful and that you need to cut me off. Like, I forgot to add something, but she also said that my brother couldn't hold his baby sister because he couldn't text her while he was holding her. She also said that he couldn't drive me around because he wasn't texting her while he was driving me around. So, like, I sent a bunch of voice messages. I was like, you're not his mother. You don't get to tell him what he cannot do. Like, this is my brother. I love him. I'm going to protect him. I don't care if this is not my relationship. I see it. You need to stop. So, my cousins are telling me what to say. And I'm like, just give me a moment. I go in my closet and I go off. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, she's telling my brother all type of things. Like, I'm calling her crazy. I'm calling her a psychiatric pa patient when I literally have the proof right there. So at the end of the night, they end up breaking up. It was my mom's birthday the next day and she was supposed to come over, but then she's like, I'm not coming over anymore. So she's like, no, why would I come over? Oh my God. So I told her to come over. She's like, no, why would I come over when I know you're all gonna gang on me? Cause at this point, like my aunts were down. They were like, ooh, what's happening? What's happening? Like my dad was like, it's about time you told her off. Like everybody was giving me a high five. I was like, I know. So they break up and that should have been the end of it. Like she wasn't a good person. Okay, goodbye, on to the next. It wasn't. A month later, they get back together and it becomes 30 times worse. I'm gonna have to make a part two because this video is already long. This was all happening in real time. Like y'all would see me not posting or like just seem out of it because this was happening. My brother ended up moving out and stuff like that. Like, ooh, it was so bad. Um, One time I went on a date with this guy. One date with this guy. And the next day he calls me and he's like, hey, I just wanna let you know where my head's at in this whole process. <sighs> he was like, I really like you randomly. It's just that I can't decide between you and my ex-girlfriend, <laughs> to be honest. I was like, okay, well that would be a really weird thing to say right now, but I already stalked her and <laughs> that one was a compliment. So I was like, oh my God, you're totally fine. You should figure things out with her Pro probably, right? Like, by the way, I wanted to tell this story for so long, but it took him a year, he finally blocked me. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, it's story time. Babe. So I was like, oh my God, you should probably try to figure things out with your ex then, right? And he was like, is that what you think I should do? I was like, why am I, I'm, am I your guidance counselor right now? We went on one date last night. By the way, well, I was an hour late to this date, but I'm not even trying to be funny, I was an hour late. How, if there, the fact that there was even a discussion about who should I choose the girl that was an hour late to our first date, or maybe, I don't know, my loving ex-girlfriend, and I'm not even trying to be a pick me. Like that was, I was making a terrible first impression. So <laughs> like at that point, love yourself. Like it is yourself that you need to choose. So then he was like, honestly, the way you're handling this is like showing me how calm you are. And I want to try things with you. And I was like, okay, I'm down. So let me go on a second date. Shut up. I'm sure there are things in your past you're not proud of either, right? Thank you. <laughs> We're at a bar. He makes me pay for all of my own drinks. All my own drinks. So I was like, it's over. That was my last draw. So I'm staring at this man like, what is a good excuse to break up with someone? Can I break up with someone because of the drink thing? Like, because you don't buy my drinks? On the first, second date? Yes, honestly. So then I go look up his name later that night and I find a TikTok that's like, raise your hand if you've been on a date with this man. First, last name. And I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. So I sent it to him, pretend like I'm mad, obviously. And I was like, hey, it's over. It's over. 